Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I don't know why today seemed like a Friday or a Saturday or something. But happy Tuesday. I am headed to the post office. It's going on like 4.30, so I'm going to get there before they close. T-shirts. I need to get her T-shirts off of y'all. I've been procrastinating or getting set behind. And it's just now, just as I decide to get in the car and drive, it starts to rain. It starts to rain. So y'all, uh, channel tasty talks is doing good y'all i have some plans for tasty talks like i say i've been getting a little sidetracked because i've been responding to some haters over there some people that's hating on other people but i really 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 need to stay focused because I got some big plans for Tasty Talks. Uh, I'm still going to address the haters, but you have to figure out sometimes different ways to address your haters or even other people's haters uh, that would bring more 
Oh Lord, my mirror fell out the van. That would bring more positive light to the situation. So, sometime I get sidetracked, y'all. That's y'all for forgiveness, for getting sidetracked. And just y'all continue to keep me in y'all prayers because I'm human and my response is, ooh, child, I could live in the post office. I could live in the post office, y'all. It feel good up in here. It feels good up in here. Oh, Lord, this line is kind of long. I should have known that to me be up in here right before five. Uh, but anyway, how long this line is, I need to go up here and get a bag to put my stuff in. Hi everybody, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey, y'all. It's like 2.30 going on 3 p.m. I've been editing a few videos. Haven't really done nothing. Got up. Getting up late. Uh, I'm about to wash my t face. Did I bring some water? I bring some water from the gym. Whenever I go to the gym, I bring some water. So, I'm going to feel just pour instead of using my water that I got stored up in there I'm going to use some of this water I'm going to wash my face y'all um, brush my teeth same same daily routine I ask y'all do y'all get tired of seeing me do the same daily routine said no y'all said no the people that answered me said no they don't get tired of mentioning uh seeing the same daily routine y'all let me tell y'all something oh that feels so good oh that feels so good and refreshing let me tell y'all trolls something the ones that watch me and think you could leave comments on my channel and you think i'm gonna go back and forth with you about your opinions about what i'm doing how i'm doing it what i should be doing and how i should be doing it i'm not going back and forth with you if you say that i block people with an opinion then i, I, I that's what it is you got an opinion your opinion you want to go back and forth with me you want to give your opinion on me my life and you don't know nothing about me you're getting blocked okay you say what you want to say i don't care you're gonna be talking on somebody else's channel not mine <laughs> so anyway y'all i just want to let these trolls know that you can waste your time trying to talk to me about my life and about what you know about me and that's what you're doing you're wasting your time because y'all i need to get me some oatmeal and a little thing so i can add my oatmeal to my scrub is what i usually do but y'all i don't i don't be talking to them haters in the comments sometimes I'll give them like one or two comments. And then after that, I already know I'm going to block them. Sometimes I feel like talking to them sometimes. You know, they might say something that you want to give them the benefit of the doubt and just converse with them. But you already know from their tone where they going. I can already tell I'm going to end up blocking somebody, but sometimes... 
they might say something in a way where, okay, you want to give them a benefit of a doubt. They might not be a hater. But then the minute you respond to them and they respond back, they let you know their true agenda. I'm not going back and forth with people in my comments. I'm not allowing you to say any and everything on my channel that you want to say. I'm not letting my comments be a breathing ground for your hate about yourself. Because when you go to somebody else's channel and all you could do is say something negative and your first comment that you've ever left on a person's channel has been something negative, child, I ain't got time to go back and forth with you. I don't care what you got to say. I don't care what you got to say. I'm not listening to you and I'm not responding to you and I ain't giving you a platform for nobody else to listen to what you got to say. I don't understand uh, YouTubers who allow their haters to have a voice on their channel. Like you allowing your haters to you sometimes you wonder why you have so many haters see your haters grow when you let your haters have a voice your haters grow when you give your place when you give your haters a place to be heard you need to make it harder for your haters to to recruit other people against you you don't need to enable your haters you know some people say let everybody leave comments on your channel because it's going to help your channel and it's going to help your channel grow it's going to help your haters grow it might help you get a few more views but baby i don't care nothing about it. your haters gonna watch you anyway my haters gonna watch me in silence i'm not gonna let my haters be watching me and coming to my channel and recruiting more people to hate against me. Mm -mm. Nope. You want to hate against me? You ain't going to do it on my channel. <laughs> no, I don't care nothing about no views, baby. I don't care nothing about your comments helping my channel grow. No, you getting blocked. Your comments getting deleted. I ain't that hard up for views that I got to let people hate on me in order to get views. If that's the only way I'm going to get some views is to have people leave negative comments on my channel, I ain't going to get no views. I'm not going to get no views. I don't need no views that bad. No, sir. <laughs>
Mr. Green burn a little more. And I think mouthwash may burn me a little more than other people because I brush my gums. I brush my gums, my tongue, the outer side of my gums, the inner side of my gums. When I brush my teeth, it's important to have just as good gum health as you have teeth health. You want your teeth to be healthy but the source of your teeth being healthy is your gums so yeah i need a wet wipe i need a wet wipe i don't think i have any more wet this wipes. thing almost full see i want to show y'all that the line to this is right here the line to this is to empty it and my theory see it's right here my theory is because all that stuff melted in here that attracts the moisture it would still conti continue to attract moisture uh by being in the water so if you leave this in your thing it'll probably feel all the way up to the top which you be getting double for your money instead of just getting a dollar's worth of use out of this you're getting two dollars worth of use out of this to let this thing fill up all the way to the top see it's already filled up above the line so i just continue so, uh, they say it's time to throw it away I don't throw it away when they say it's time to throw it away I go ahead and get me another dollar's worth of use out of it what it is i know y'all see my bald head y'all i'm gonna either shave my hair very soon y'all know i walk around with a bald head either way the head is bald whether you see my bald spot or i shave my whole head bald and i could care less what people have to say work on yourself. I'm working on me. Are you working on you? Are you working on you? Are you just working on talking about me? <laughs> okay, y'all. Um, I washed my face. Oh, I didn't put none of this um, toner on my face. I took it out. Oh, 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 best toner, best toner, best toner in the world. Best toner, best toner, best toner in the world. Ooh, child. Okay, y'all, I just got to use in the bathroom. Um, Y'all, I wasn't sure last month, because you know, sometimes all the days go together. And I was like, I don't remember getting a period last month. And I was like, mm, did I get a period last month or didn't I get a period last month? I don't know, y'all. I didn't, I don't remember if I got a period last month or not. So this month, when this month came in, I was like, mm, I'm going to really keep my mind focused on whether or not I got a period this month. So y'all, today is the 28th or something like that. And I haven't had a period. So I think I might be through with my periods, y'all. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Y'all, if I'm through with my periods, I'm gonna see if I get a period next month or I got like two or three more days left in this month. I know I'm not gonna get a period this month because I didn't get a period last month around this time when I was remembering it. So the whole month has went by and I haven't gotten a period. 
So I'm gonna see if I get a period next month, y'all. If I don't get no period next month, y'all, we is having a party. And then I'm gonna do a video on my experience with my period. I have had a, I've been a very, very, very lucky woman concerning my cycle. And even my friends, young daughters, when they would talk about their menstrual craps and pains, and I would, and they would ask me, Miss Vanessa this, Miss Vanessa that, and I would tell them, I have no idea what y'all talking about. I don't know nothing about moodiness. I don't know nothing about menstrual craps. I don't know nothing about craving. I don't know nothing about pain. I don't know nothing about none of that stuff. So, I'm going to do a, a video on my menstrual cycle if in fact i don't have another one girl we having a party we having a party y'all i'm gonna eat this banana i'm getting ready to take my vitamins i haven't had anything to eat this morning except for i think i ate one or two other bananas so i'm gonna just eat this third banana so i could go ahead and take my vitamins. And I'm gonna empty out my water cooler where I'm at. So I can go to Kroger and get some ice. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all, I don't know if y'all told y'all the date is Thursday. I just got through doing a live on Tasty Talks and also doing a video over another live over there, doing a video over here, uh, eating a banana, washing my face, brushing my teeth. And now I'm about to take my vitamins. I got my iron. It's going on 4 p.m., y'all. I haven't moved from where I'm at today. I need to go get some ice really, 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 really bad. Have no idea what I'm gonna eat today, but I probably need to eat something that I have in my van. Uh, I wanna cook some oatmeal for some reason or another. But anyway, how y'all doing? Life as a van lifer is regular routines like it is in home life. In home life, you have regular daily routines. If you don't get out the house, it's a lot of repetition. In van life, it's still a lot of repetition, but the thing about it is, you could go to different locations, but if you don't go to different locations, then it's the same old, same old. And you still within the same four walls. It's just smaller. As you guys can see, I'm in the van. Don't know what the temperature is. It's uh, hot, but like cool i feel a breeze i got one of my doors open i didn't open up the other one but uh it's a little the sky is clear but not sunny yeah that's what i wanted to say the sky is clear but not sunny tomorrow is friday i need to I need to um, 
What am I going to say? Oh, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think I'm going to concentrate on my solar. I keep saying that. I'm getting wrapped up and tied up. Oh, tomorrow is Thursday, so I'm going to go to the food pantry tomorrow. Oh. But Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm going to definitely concentrate on what I need to do for my solar. I'm behind on filming my videos for uh, Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I might, because I like to stay up like two weeks ahead of myself but now i done caught back up to where i'm only a few days ahead of myself so i need to get back caught up i might do a couple of sit down videos a couple of talking videos a couple of uh reviews on some stuff or i don't know y'all but anyway i am about to empty this water out of this cooler so I could go get some ice because I really need to do that. the water cooler I'm gonna put on my shoes and my socks and I am going to head to Kroger's um I could get ice cheaper from Fiesta but the Fiesta is probably about 10-15 minutes from here and really to save two dollars and drive 10 to 15 minutes then have to come back to this location it's really not worth it i think bags of ice are two dollars a bag at kroger so i'm gonna go throw away my trash go to Kroger get some ice maybe pick up a couple of more things I really need some celery it seems like the celery that I had the last time not this time it really flushed me out really good this time I must didn't need that much flushing out because I didn't have to go to the bathroom as much when I ate the celery this time so, I'm about to go to throw away my trash, go to Kroger. We're going to buy some ice. We're going to come back and need to wash some dishes. So, let me put my trash over here. I've been wasting food, too, because I have food in the cooler. But I haven't been eating it. I haven't been cooking. So, I wasted a few things. And I need to stop doing it because I need to eat my food. I've been missing meals and skipping meals. And that is not good. But y'all, my skin looking good. I need to find the stuff for my... Oh... Uh, spa day that's what i need to find i'm probably gonna go take a shower later uh I, I got my seaweed in the thing so i need to eat some of my seaweed put it on ice make sure it's staying frozen or cold or refrigerated and everything so y'all let's go okay let's go to kroger okay y'all i done made it to kroger's I'm gonna go in here. 
I'm gonna go in here and get me something to eat. I'm gonna get three bags of ice, y'all. I need some ice to put in my jars. And I need some ice to put in my cooler. And I'm probably gonna get some celery and a couple of other fruits and vegetables. I might go to Costco and get a salad because I like the Costco's salad better because it's a better deal. It's bigger for the price. The price be about the same here, but you don't get as much salad. So I like the salads better at Costco. So, Let's go into the store. Oh, it feel good. It feel good. I'm gonna go park somewhere. Baskets when they come in. No, not that many places are requiring you to wear a mask either. I don't know what the what the numbers are in Texas, but anyway, y'all. See y'all in a minute. spray is on my key ring in some kind of way it just sprayed oh lord i hope my hand i don't need to rub my eye with my hand so now y'all i got to go to another store to see if i can get some ice because Kroger ice that went up to 234 a bag. I ain't paying that much for no ice. Everything is going up, y'all.
Y'all, I want y'all to see this van. This is a Smirnoff van. They are uh, giving us samples. I just got a bag. They giving us samples, but I like that vehicle. I wonder who that vehicle is by. They don't have any, uh, any trademarks on it to let you see who it's by. I like that vehicle. I'll take that cover too. But anyway, I just came out the store. Give me some ice. 